there is decent smokiness in it. Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning. I'm the master taster of whiskey.com and today we have the smoky goat. Here are my cat. Oh, no. Um, but this one is a smoky blended scotch whiskey. Pricing around 23-24 euros and it is as the boxing hairs were uh, is bottled or blended by the Whiskey Union. And the Whiskey Union is a new company uh, founded by Diageo, the world's biggest spirits company and Scotch whiskey company, I think. And uh, they call the Whiskey Union Whiskey Union with an E in front of the Y in the whiskey, in the spelling of whiskey. Well, but Scotch whiskey is spelled without an E in front of the Y. So Whiskey Union is something, well, unauthentic. I think uh, the Whiskey Union is heading for the US market and because there the spelling Whiskey is very popular from the bourbon, uh, they say, well, we're going with this company on that market, market and call ourselves Whiskey Union. Well, those bottles are also available in Europe um, so I don't know if this is the real reason or if there was a marketeer <laughs> in the company uh, who did not know how to spell whiskey in Scotland. <clears throat> yeah. Um, here on the label it said full-bodied, weathered, wind-blown, burned to a brilliant gold. Bur no. If you distill a whiskey, if you burn it, then it's colorless. It's crystal clear liquid. And the golden color is coming from the casks, not from burning. Uh, well, probably they burn the cask from the inside and that brings out, yeah, probably, not really. Smelling of bonfire, so it's a peated one and salt spray. Craggy like a mountain, free like a river, live to tell a tale, pioneer, poet, smoky goat, blended scotch whiskey. 40% ABV and on the back it said, says inspired by the original recipes, recipes of the west coast, smoky goat hails from the wild and wine-swept reaches of Scotland where deep smokiness and rich sweetness combine to a craft of flavor with a real character and rich reward. <clears throat> Colored with sugar caramel. <clears throat> yeah. Officially it said, uh, no, I read somewhere that this whiskey uh, contain uh, contains Isla malts uh, but if you read the label very carefully then it's only said wild, uh, windswept and uh, reaches and mm, coastal and whatever uh, but not Isla so on the label it, nothing, nothing is said about Isla <clears throat> There is decent smokiness in it and definitely not this uh, medicinal but the bonfire smoke. And that's all. Nothing else but smoke. And the smoke is not that intense. I would say 20 ppm. So less, definitely less than the typical Isla whiskey has. Then there is some, well, indefinite back, hmm? a little bit of caramel. Yeah, and the <laughs> blender, the inventor of the smoky goat, he's called Craig Wallace. He says it's a 
a bunch of aromas and those aromas are from uh, sweetness, full body, honey notes and peatiness with, a, with a, like a grill on a grill. No. This is a lot of grain whiskey in it. Smooth, silky grain whiskey. Then there is a smoky note on top and very faint aromas of probably caramel and vanilla and, and that's it. Nothing else. So the grain whiskey content may be quite high. Very silky, smooth in your mouth, quite tasteless. And then as soon as you swallow, then bitterness kicks in. Real hefty bitterness, oakiness. And I very often tell here that I'm no friend of grain whiskies. I'm no friend of blended whiskies. There are very good exceptions of that. Um, like the excellent Johnny Walkers I had here, uh, also from Diageo, like this one. Um, but there is, you typically uh, mature grain whiskey in Scotland in cask for three years and a day. And then uh, you are conformed to the law and can sell this whiskey as scotch. And you can refill those casks nine times, that you have a full range of 10 times three years, 30 years. And if you have an eighth fill or a ninth fill, then you only get tannins out of the oak casks. All the vanilla and caramel, everything is gone, but only tannins remain. And I still have this tannin bitterness in my mouth. So if you like, very dark chocolate and you like the bitterness of say hops uh, then this whiskey might be the right one for you but if you say well i like a light and aromatic and sweet whiskey with a wonderful uh, smooth aftertaste no this not this is bitter ah a little vanilla showing up yeah so this one is a blended, a typical Scotch blend um, with a more than average uh, smokiness on top of it. So this is the right description of this whiskey. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned. There's more to come and feel free to add your comments in our on vlog and in our forum and add your uh, tasty notes to our whiskey database on whiskey.com. Thank you.